XRP 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 The Bulls getting ready to run out the game Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page as well. Let a high vibe ass sets. Let's go ahead and kick off this bullish content. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. High vibe ass sets back again with another dagger. This is the reason why you subscribe to the High Vibe Channel family because we always go on behind the scenes. And we're never going to leave things up to our own opinion. But what we're going to do is we're going to read exactly what the largest institutions in the world. We're going to read their case studies. We're going to read their statistics on how they feel. Because honestly, without institutions, nothing from retail is really going to drive this market as we need it to. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to read off of a couple of excerpts from one of the most influential task force or councils around the world, which is the U.S. Faster Payments Council and Task Force. Now, just to start off, we understand how the Amazon of Ripple has already has been collaborating with the U.S. Faster Payments Council for multiple years now. Because why? What this council does is they are heavily involved in cross-border payments or efficiently moving payments around the world. Faster, cheaper. This is what this council is created for to allow seamless cross-border payments to be facilitated on these networks, right? So this is one of the most powerful or influential um, councils right now on any level, in any financial jurisdiction, because cross-border payments is the number one use case of digital assets by far. You know, artificial intelligence is going to come into play here in a second. Needs more time to develop. You know, NFTs kind of came out there and it kind of pumped and dumped on us. But let's not forget about those things, you know, tokenization of assets and different things of that nature. But the number one use case that's going to kick it off is cross-border payments. Let's see what they're talking about right here. This is from January 2024. Let's see exactly what they are thinking, how they are moving and what type of, you know, doctrine, indoctrination that they're pushing down so everyone can adopt this technology. And this is what they're talking about. The practicalities of cross-border payments in a faster payments world. In June 2021, the cross-border payments work group of the U.S. Faster Payments Council published a white paper titled Cross-Border Faster Payments. The paper addressed the use cases and user experiences for cross-border payments, particularly along the dimension of speed, risk, transparency, and cost. That right there. And let's go ahead and bring in and usher in how the greatest digital asset ever created is tied into this. And let's talk about how the Amazon of Crypto Ripple, who actually built this system and talk about how this is integrated with them. When you're talking about, right, a slogan or a pitch and you think about or a slogan or anything to where when they're selling this, this sounds like Ripple. When you're talking about dealing with cross border payments and you're talking about the dimensions of speed, risk, transparency and cost. What this paper did was identify interoperability approaches along with the associated settlement schemes necessary to create a world-class cross-border payment system. In this report, they're going to build on those principles and explore the practicalities and realities of cross-border payments in a faster payments world. This document is intended to look back at the history of correspondent banking and look forward to some of the considerations, challenges and changes in the financial institutions are facing within the next 12 to 14 months and how they must adopt blockchain technology. This is happening at the biggest level in the biggest scales on the biggest stages and XRP is the biggest digital asset ever created. You're talking about use case. You're talking about relying on a certain system or relying on a certain network, right? A large one that everyone is going to be stacking on top of and making their moves. We know that cross-border payments is going to reach $300 trillion by 2030, which is just a snap of a finger away. This is setting up to be about all the money. 
You're talking about the greatest transformation of wealth that this world has ever seen. This is what we are embarking on. Let's check out what they're saying up here, family. In the era of cross-border payments, right, they have become more prominent as technology has advanced and global trade has increased. Financial institutions have developed sophisticated systems to facilitate international payments, allowing businesses to send and receive money quickly and securely. So just how just... You know, it's giving you a chart right here going all the way back to 1817 and showing how 2023, how money is now borderless and financial institutions have developed sophisticated ways to do business internationally and handle fiat currencies and different currencies and do business in different currencies as well. See, this is exponential growth when we're talking about the finance system and Ripple and XRP has a major role to play inside of this market. In recent years, the emergence of digital payment solutions offered by companies such as Apple, MasterCard, PayPal, TransferMate, Visa, NYs, you name it, right? All of these companies, all of a sudden, with digital payments, have made it much easier for businesses to transfer funds across borders. These solutions make cross-border payments available to users who have registered with the service and successfully completed customer vetting. Additionally, Many of these solutions low offer low fees and competitive exchange rates, making them attractive options for businesses looking to move money for international payments. And this is the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, that stable coin regulation will be so impactful, because in order to really do these things on that digital level, you're going to need a digital representation of that fiat currency. No matter if it's a U.S. dollar representation, no matter if it's a digital yuan, all of the systems are going digital. Now we need the fiat to go digital as well. As you can see what they're talking about, even with correspondent banking, which is a system that we use now. And if you look up here at this chart, been using correspondent banking for over 100 years since the late 19th century. This is when banks, they needed to establish relationships with other banks to facilitate transfers and funds between them, right? Everything was brick and mortar. The correspondent banks, they acted as an intermediary, allowing the respondent bank to transfer funds to and fro from other banks. I mean, just an old clunky system, just a system that's been outdated, a system that is no longer working anymore. OK, and that's why this is so important. That's why we need to understand that distributed ledger technology is going to change people's lives. If you are an early investor inside of this brand new digital asset space, you have a chance to become the new financial one percent. But if you are smart and you see exactly what's going on on the outside and especially you subscribe to the High Vibes channel, everybody in the world knows that XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created. Everybody knows it because it does not matter what level of the game that you're on, Ripple and XRP have already been there. They're not going to take 100% of each and every one of these sectors and each and every one of these markets. But when you're talking about interoperability, you're talking about cross-border payments, and especially you're talking about the challenges that correspondent banking and cross-border payments has Ripple and XRP solves all of them right on the dot. And what challenges do the correspondent banking, the old systems and cross-border payments, what challenges do they have and what type of solutions are out there to help solve this problem? Let's read about some of these challenges, ladies and gentlemen. It says today more than ever. Financial institutions face challenges in their correspondent banking relationships and cross-border payments. Let's see what some of these are, right? Regulatory compliance. How long have we been hearing about that? How long have we been hearing about the need for legislation and regulatory clarity, right? See what they're talking about. Correspondent banking and cross-border payments are subjects to a variety of regulations, including AML, anti-modern laundering, and KYC, know your customer laws, right? Banks must ensure that they are complying with all applicable regulations, which can be complex and time consuming because there is no rules, man. It's like, look, you know, you do what you want to do. Essentially, it's essentially the wild, wild west when you're using digital assets inside of any type of business that you want. And we've been going back and forth with the course. But when you're talking about regulatory compliance, right, 
we understand that XRP has become legal status of not being security. Then when you're talking about the security, cross-border payments involves transmitting sensitive financial information across borders, which can be vulnerable to fraud and other security risks. You know, security, when you're talking about blockchain and that public ledger is everything. Security, you're talking about not knowing who's on the front end, knowing who's on the back end, different things of that nature, right? All of those things are pretty much X'd out, wiped out. See how valuable this technology is. You see how valuable these digital assets are going to be in the future, right? And how valuable that they are right now, no matter what the price is. Foreign exchange rate risk, lack of transparency, cross-border payments can be complex and opaque, right? Old, you know, antiquated, you know, the cross-border payments. And, you know, we've been hearing this doctrine. We've been hearing this narrative for years, and it's still true. Making it difficult to track payments, Right? Transparency ensures that payments are secure and that all parties are aware of the status of the payment. This helps to reduce the risk of fraud and other financial crimes. It also means that the sender knows the cost of the transaction, including fees and foreign exchange expenses before sending the transaction. And that right there, I've shown plenty of graphics on this channel about essentially, and it's going to be talking about this as well, just the high cost that is just being obliterated by these financial institutions. Hell, a lot of us, we don't even, you know, have access to, you know, hundreds and millions and sending out millions and payments, and we still get hacked with high cost just about using your bank account, right? They're always charging you for something, something overdraft fees and all of these bank account membership fees and all of these fees. High cost, man, high cost. That is absolutely insane if you think about how the internet is pretty much free but you're still being you know hit upside the head with these fees ripple and xrp are solving trillion dollar problems ladies and gentlemen this is the reason why you need to continue to add to those backs cross-border payments are typically cost due to expenses involved such as currency exchange cost intermediary charges and regulatory costs in the World Bank's most recent interview of remittances prices worldwide, banks remain the most expensive type of sentence provider with an average cost of 10.1% versus the average global of 6.5%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that XRP is coming for everything. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that XRP is one of the most valuable digital assets. You're talking about managing liquidity devaluing risk the rise of the fintech players coming on inside of this space the largest institutions in the world are signing up for these cross-border payment systems ripple and xrp is coming for the top spot make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button every time is bullish thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section as well. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor, but tell everyone around that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. XRP, 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 the bulls getting ready to run out the gates.